a very special and unique year. Mm. This is the Exodus of 2020. He told the Supreme Court, "You turn the so." At a mills, Jemma Kwame Nkrumah on us a year because Kwame Nkrumah is 72. It is that just a quick year, so no. 66, be repeated 2016. Satan, I mean, JB Dankwa Kra will be. It is not my dream, I say, ah, why are you not going to Nana do Dankwa? Because also the Dankwa. But me say, Bissam will say, say, Nana do Dankwa, why are you not going to obey the president? Because Dankwa will also go for the baby president. It is a Nana do Dankwa, who is that good to be the president? Me dream, who is a spiritual thing and person me day. Me, me, me can now mind it didn't click it i was trying to save nana do dankwa so do you know what i did me call here documentary and at the already you train me you me and documentary and i'm the comma open you know captain koda nana do uh security man a frame put him there yeah in terms of politicians i don't believe them one day once i do a recorded video no man you was a video for normally I know the other number at twice here. He rather called that guy. Say a person in a discussive video, no. And a guy no frame, no. Hey, master, me the sanko for you, Mister Romo. I'm sorry, Mister Romo. And I'm saying catch and say, what is soft for now or yeah, message and casa number eh mano. Me just have boy in here or the other speaker. Captain called that Jamie number. Say try no be frame me a Me fear, me call for your fear, your finance minister, ne, me call Tony Angela. And I'm saying, send a radio here, Chemi. A bayer, a radio catch, Chemi, say, Kebaya, Nanado, ma or ma. So for so beba, and a quaby also JB than Quew. Into Quantrena, and a radio say, on Pio Bia on ne ne birthday, yepe. Send an audio 29th of March. Into Pio Bia on Sierra 29th of March. Nefa, man on court mao. So on pesa alan che ma tebe kwa because nana do fi wana ka alan ba abe shaho but on pesa alan so be shaho and the person the pobia one ni kra daye ba akon sa ni pa nuni ni pa kro ni e fre na isiko se nan se to di orizan ye on se ye moun 29th of march but ni ye 51 nana do ye 44 me ka e nana do anfa anya se me ka che anjela se hey e nye be ya moun kanche nana do o non kon chen sa ye o ni do ka che e mo se hey o ra one and call president Eddie now time as soon as I can say which they were. Cabeo de. And I'm sure you made them Yamia catch them. No, no. Agro, 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 agro. Yawo JB done quite a kind. Up to now. And then, now you're the politics. And then, Kennedy Ponsi say, it's not a way to say, it's not a way to say. So you ask yourself, what is going on? Nanado promised to give JB Dankwa justice. Where is the justice? Four years. Where is the justice? 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 Oko to JB Dankwa. Ne remains, no. No as I did dano. As I could see any view. And I make us our top radio. And I'm sorry, Bema on Koye. Because what kind of Bible or see Jubilee time? So open so ye bibi mo bia. I also bia or tiasi a genu mano. It is open so ye JB Dankwa ye dia. And I just said, I was said ubiu a mano. Now what did that's the pacron? I ain't pacron ye at your shame. This is 2015. Me mm kind -hmm. said, man could too. But what I know is that the Amika said, I didn't know a living relative will have to die so that JB Dankwa can get that befitting burial. No, a year later, another JB Dankwa was murdered. That is what I know because that is what God told me. Into as far as I know, ye yeah, JB Dankwa kitwe ye no na e eh, penine ye mum no more ye. Yeah. Was this a ritual? 
Who directed them? Who gave them that direction? Who? Who? Let me tell you something, people of Ghana. Before Nanado was born in 1944, those of you who know your history, there was a ritual murder. His own grandfather, Sir Ofrata I, died in 1943. And he was, his funeral was in February 1944. Omukoche the chief of Those days are bre. Idiots. Now the amazing thing is this ritual murder happened in February. And ye won anado March 29th. Into 2008, while we were praying, the Lord revealed to me that John will win the election. But I saw in a vision, Nananado presidential convoy. Odua Pedra. And they stopped the convoy. And they told him they, he can't go in the convoy. He should get down and walk. Ah, I didn't understand it. Then the Lord directed me to a default cabinet area. So I went to see him. I didn't go to, I mean, chat with him. He said, I should just go there. So I went and sat there. Listening to what he would say. And then he said, I, I have seen Nanado taking the lead in this election. This is 2008. But something has crossed him. Ah, well, I went to Kumasi. First round, what crossed Nanado? The incident of Apija was working against him, was work, working against his presidency because the people of Apija had made it their, uh, what should I say? They were going to see it through that nobody from that family becomes president. Let me show you something, ladies and gentlemen. When, after the funeral in 1944, 1947, you have what? The UGCC was formed and Kwame Nkrumah was invited. 1949, Kwame Nkrumah left UGCC and formed the CPP. Now, that was the first break because UGCC was the first political party. So that was the first time uh, the, 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 there was a split. If you add 30 years to 1949, what do you get? 1979. In 1979, there's another man from the same family. He's called William Ufuriata. When he tried to go for the presidency, he and Victosu, the party split again. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, go and check your history. As if that was not enough. If you add 30 years to 1979, you get 2009. Who was the candidate? Nanado Danko Akufuado. Is he not from the same family? So Danka tried 49 split. 30 years later, Ufriata came, he split. 30 years again, Nanado split here in Alan. And you know the mystery of the whole thing. In 2008, he got 49%, representing 1949. Then he tried 2012, he got 47%, representing 1947. So in 2016, Nanado should have got 44%, representing 1944, because that is when the ritual murder took place. How was it possible that they switched and John got 44 and Nanadu got 53? Because J.B. Dankwa was murdered. J.B. Dankwa was also murdered in February. Just like the first ritual murder took place in February. Then Nanadu was born 29th of March. So, the, another ritual murder in February and then by-election on Nanadu's birthday. Do you know the mystery of that by-election? The Lord showed me that that by election is like the final rehearsal before the December elections. Final rehearsal, what does it mean? You are the choristers. When you don't come for final rehearsal, what happens to you? You don't sing. I love it. You even mount the platform because you didn't come to the final rehearsal. So if the by election was a final rehearsal for 2016 and then John uh, comes and makes an announcement that the NDC is not partaking in that by election, what does it mean? What does it mean? Thank you. Thank you. We are talking spiritual matters. Mm. We are talking spiritual matters, my brothers and sisters. Mm. That is why we 
have to come together to pray for Ghana. Because what is happening is not normal. What is happening is not normal. If J.B. Danko had not died, Nanadu would not have been president. Do you remember Jericho? Joshua destroyed Jericho and cursed Jericho that anyone who builds Jericho to cost you your firstborn, you'll finish it with your lastborn. It is the same situation here. And somebody built it in the days of Ahab. And what happened? It cost him his firstborn. So if God says, Nanado, if you insist on being president, then J.B. Dankwa must die. And you insist. And J.B. Dankwa didn't die of malaria. He was murdered. Premeditated. And do you know it has brought a curse to this nation? Because the Bible says, Cain, you are cursed from the ground that opened its mouth to swallow your blood, your brother's blood. So Ghana is cursed under this administration because the earth opened its mouth and received J.B. Dankwa's blood so that somebody can be president. Look, today we are going to go deep because the bible says you shall know the truth and the truth will set you free if ghana must be free you the citizens of ghana you must know the truth do you know yesterday was the 17th of april four years ago david Dankwa was buried 17th of april four years ago yesterday And do you know the amazing thing? <clears throat> after, you know, after Kwame Nkrumah was overthrown in 66, Kotoka, in February, uh, in April 17th, 67, there was a, an attempted coup d'etat or whatever. It was framed and they killed Kotoka and they actually cut his manhood and put it in his mouth. So, yes, oh yeah, Bema. So, after John left the Flagstaff house, the Lord asked me to tell Nanado, to change the name back to Golden Jubilee House by the 17th of April 2017. He didn't do it. But you know something? God is a patient God. So let me show you something. When Kwame Nkrumah lived in the Flagstaff House, anything that happens in Nigeria will repeat in Ghana. So when Kwame Nkrumah lived in the Flagstaff House, Nigeria did the first coup d'etat in January 66. Then February 66, Ghana did a coup d'etat. So the Lord told me, Kwabina, just watch the pattern. Anything that happens in Nigeria, as long as they live in the Flagstaff House, it will happen in Ghana. So let's begin by the plane crash. You remember a plane crash here Saturday. Then the next day in Nigeria, another plane crash. But the casualty in Ghana was not as much as Nigeria. And the Lord said, Kwabina, the disaster that hit Nigeria is about to hit Ghana. What was the disaster? We were thinking um, Boko Haram. Because at that time, Boko Haram had... So we're praying. Hey, Boko, you know. Then, Atamils died. As soon as Atamils died, then the Lord reminded me, ah, Buhari, uh, Yadwa died. Then Gula Jonathan became president. That was um, 2011. Then 2012, Atamils dies. Then the vice becomes president. As if that was not enough. 2015, Goodla Jonathan got 44%. Buhari got 53%. Buhari was sworn in at the age of 72. Come to Ghana the next year, John Mahama, 44%. Nanadu, 53%. Nanadu was sworn in at 72. What are you talking about? What are you saying? What are you saying? Uh, we serve a living God. Absolutely. When he says yes, it is yes. When he says no, it is no. God is not here and there. Then the amazing thing is, Prophet Bedukobi gave a prophecy on December 31st, 2016, that the Nigerian president will be in and out of hospital. And that Ghana, the same thing will repeat. So people were expecting President Nanadu to collapse. But the Lord told me, be patient and observe it. Do you know exactly one year that Buhari collapsed? Baumia collapsed. Why? Because in Ghana, we have one Muslim, one Christian. Ghana, one Muslim, one Christian. In Nigeria, who collapsed? 
the Muslim. Mm -hmm. So in Ghana, who collapsed? Thank you. It was then that Nanado hurriedly changed the name to Jubilee House. Wow. <laughs> but do you know what he did? Oh. He changed it on his birthday, 29th of March. Why? The Lord asked you to do it 17th April, 2017. You didn't mind. But when you decided to do it, you decided to do it on your birthday. But never mind. It has been changed. The fact that it has been changed means that whatever happens in Nigeria would not necessarily happen in Ghana. That covenant is broken. For me, that is what is important now. So after he changed the name, 29th March, Emisata celebrated his birthday on 29th April. Do you know the mystery? Emisata is born 29th April. Nanado is born 29th of March. John Mama is born 29th November. I call it the battle of the 29th bonds. So when Emisata 29th April, John Mama 29th March, uh, uh, November, against uh, Nanado 29th March, they go to Supreme Court. Verdict is given 29th August. Why 29th, 29th? If you were drawing a chart, you see a pattern. You see a pattern. So, let me show you a mystery. So, Misata, like I, I showed you, Kwesi Bocha, I told him 29th of May. I seen Emisata is about to die. I told him one or two things to do, but you know these intellectuals sometimes, they don't understand what we talk about. So, yeah. Then, 29th June, Emisata dies. But let me show you a pattern. <laughs> we are going to pray. We are going to pray. We are going to arrest the murderers of J.B. Dankwa. No, look, we are going to call for divine justice. Because we know that J.B. Dankwa will never get justice in this court. No. No, no, no. But there's a God in heaven. There's a God of justice. Who appointed Charlotte Osei? President Mahama. Okay. Then I prophesied that J.B. Dankwa must die before John Mahama will leave the Flagstaff house. So J.B. Dankwa dies. There must be a by-election. Who selected 29th of March, Nanadu's birthday, for J.B. Dankwa's by-election? Charlotte Osei. Charlotte Osei. <laughs> <laughs> huh? Charlotte Osei. Yes. And I have told John Mahama that if J.B. Dankwa dies, the next president will be Akufuado. And J.B. Dankwa is killed. Then his by-election, your own Charlotte say, selected your opponent's birthday. And God says that by-election is like the final rehearsal. So, now who calls him? And you been a queen Boy, Thank you. You see, in the spiritual realms, it's like Esau and Jacob. The day Esau sold his birthright for food, that day, the blessing was gone. He had lost the election, so to speak. So, when the father was ready to pass it on, certain things came to play. The mother quickly remembered what she was told when she was pregnant. He said, come. I've heard your father say this. Go and kill a goat quickly. Pa, pa, pa. Can you imagine they put goat's hair on his hand? Then they took Esau's clothes, gave him to him to wear, so that he would smell like his brother Esau. The father, he said, come close to me. Come close to me. Let me smell you to see if you are my son Esau. He smelled him. He said, mm, yes, the smell is like a field that the Lord has blessed. And he started blessing him. But he said, the hair, the hand is like Esau. But the voice is Jacob. But he could not discern it. Because heaven had decided. The blood of the lamp was speaking for Jacob. But in this case, the blood of J.B. Dankwa was speaking. Do you know, on the 4th of February, it is J.B. Dankwa, the senior one, his anniversary. 51st anniversary. There was a young lady who launched a book, What Every uh, Ghanaian Should Know About J.B. Dankwa or something like that. Then, 
uh, J.B. Dankwedu, the MP who died, he was supposed to give the vote of thanks. When he mounted the pulpit and took the mic, you know what he said? He said, 10 months from now, Nanado Danko Akufuado will be marching into the Flagstaff house. Inshallah. And everybody, bah, 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 bah. those were his last words. Five days later, Payan, he died. So the blood was speaking those words even when he died. Mm. That is why God told Cain, I can hear the voice of your brother's blood crying to me. So David and Christ, even though dead, that is all he was saying. And blood speaks. But thank God that the blood of Jesus speaks better words than the blood of Abel, than the blood of J.B. Dankwa. Thank you. So finally, Charlotte Ose is the returning officer. <laughs> and then he has the, she has the courtesy of announcing President Akufuado as the winner of the election. But in the spiritual realm, everything was done. Do you know that today in Ghana, 18th of April, we are going to have an election. The 2020 election is today. The 2020 election is today. Hallelujah. It's today. Today, as you and I are here, Hallelujah. and our listeners are listening to us, today in the heavenly realms, mm, will be shifting. Ah, I'm telling you, there are only two words I hear. Change and restoration. Change and restoration. Amen. Amen. We Amen. change this administration, we restore the other administration. Amen. Change and restoration. That's all I'm hearing. That's all I'm hearing. That's all I'm hearing. Hmm. I'm going to go into today's election. But before that, I want us to pray for the murderers of J.B. Dangwa. Because four years ago, an innocent life was taken. If he had died of malaria, it wouldn't have bothered me. If a car had knocked him down, it wouldn't have bothered me. But so far as Elohim revealed it to me that this is the condition for which Nanadu can become president and the conditions have been satisfied. Look, after Jericho was built, which means it cost the man his firstborn and his secondborn. When Elisha went to Jericho after Elijah had been taken up, what did the prophets tell him? They said, this is a beautiful city, but the economy the water thank you why because of these two boys innocent boys because joshua had placed a curse that anyone who builds it it will cost you your firstborn to cost your life and so you built it at the cost of these boys and you want the land of jericho to be what productive no you win the elections through the blood of jb Dankwa, and you want the economy to what no hell no 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 the economy has been quarantined anything they touch look all their policies are beautiful policies one district one factory if indeed it will work one village one dam if indeed it will work uh free education i mean they're all laudable policies but why is it that now that there's free education we are spending more money than we used to do does it make sense does it make sense First, you were paying school fees, but you're not spending so much money. Now it is free. But it looks like you're spending twice as much as you used to spend. It doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't. There's a reason for that. Because J.B. Dankwa has been sacrificed. And we are paying the price, we Ghanaians. They will leave power in Jesus' name. But thanks be to God Deuteronomy chapter 32 35 says vengeance is mine says the Lord he says vengeance is mine Kwabena. you can run but you cannot hide you can run you know the Lord told um, when he was about to take Elijah up he said go and anoint um, Hazel to be king of Syria, then go anoint uh, Jehu to be king of um, Israel, and then an anoint Elisha in your place. 
you will, if you escape the sword of Hazel, you will not escape the sword of Jehu. But if you escape the sword of Jehu, you will not escape the sword of Elisha. What is the sword of Elisha? The word of God. The sword of the spirit. So, you may escape justice, but you never escape the sword of the spirit. It will follow you wherever you go. It will hunt you. It will hunt you. So before we go into today's elections, we're going to take time and pray for Joseph Bwachi Dankwa Edu, for his widow, little children. They don't deserve this. So what would have happened if Nanado has said, if that is the case, then I don't want the presidency. J.B. Dankwa would have been alive. But MPP would have still won the power. You see the irony of it? Only that a man born 29th of March, just like Nanado, would have been president instead. And that man would have been Isaac Osei. But the MPP would have still been in power. And you, Nanado, could have been the godfather. I mean, does it spoil anything? So today you are president. It's like rushing for Sakawa. So you get the money. And then what next? What next? Then they say, be careful, water should not touch you. Then you go to the washing base and you're washing your car. And then the water splashes on you. Then before you know, what about that man or no? The Lord told me that when I saw this, I said, Lord, but why are you keeping quiet? I said, Kwabna, be patient. I will disgrace him. This is what the Lord told me. He said, I'll disgrace him. You be patient with me. He said, I'll disgrace him. I'll disgrace him. That's why the Bible says, vengeance is mine. It's not for me. It's not for you. It is for him. Because nobody has any right to take anybody's life. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody has any right to take another man's life. Nobody. Nobody. So we'll take five minutes. Pray for JB Dankwa and his killers. That evil will pursue them wherever they go. We're going to pray that their path will be dark and slippery as the angel of the Lord pursues them. This can be found in Psalm 35, 6 to 8. The angel of the Lord himself is going, not the Ghana police, not BNI, not national security. The angel of the Lord will pursue the killers of JB Dankwa, wherever they are, those who masterminded it. The angel of the Lord himself will pursue them. And as they run, their, their road will be very dark. Can you imagine running in a dark and slippery when an angel of the Lord is pursuing you and you are running and the, you, you can't see anything. Meanwhile, the place is also slippery. We leave them to God. So let's take a moment and pray for JB and then Otena hingwa kron kron eswo ina noni Yehova se sura bafutu jom se kron 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 Where Well 
Verati Zura Bafu Tu Zura Bafu Tu Tu Se Krum 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 Ni Verati Yes, it's Zura Bafu Tu Tu Se Krum Krum Ampara Niwera Otina Hingwa Kroneshwa There is none like our God Oh, there is none like our God None like me There is none like our God Oh, there is none like our God Kata Ramasutu Hallelujah. Let's pray that the angel of the Lord will pursue the killers of Joseph Bwachi Dankwa Edu. Let us pray that those who met together to conspire this murder, all those involved, May they be exposed in daylight, in broad daylight. Let the pestilence that overtakes men at daylight overtake them in Jesus' name. Let the angel of the Lord pursue them. Let their path be dark and slippery. Oh, Abba Father, let them fall into the net that they duck. Oh, mighty one, vengeance belongs to you, mighty one. Vengeance belongs to you. Avenge Joseph Bwachi Dankwedu. Avenge Joseph Bwachi Dankwedu. Avenge Joseph Bwachi Dankwedu. Makato robo sinde robo shanda. Iba zobori amaze katoi. Reba zika bo robo shanda. Reba zika bo robo shanda. Reba zika bo robo shara basaita. Iba zo mazika be. Shande rebo zo robo shanda. Iba zika bo robo shika be. Shande rebo zo robo shanda. Iba zika bo robo shanda. Reba zuko bo ri. Mazeka bo, shandere bo zoro bo shanda ya. Ibazi na raba zoe kotoro bo shanda ya. Riba zeka bo robo shanda ya ba saita ya. Iba zoko bo robo shindere bo saita ya. Iba zoko bo robo shindere bo saita ya. Imando robo zika be rianda shara ba saita ya. Iba zoko bo robo shara ba saita ya. Iba zoko bo ndere bo shara ba saita ya. Imando robo zika bo. Rande zeka bo rima zeka taya Iba zoro bo shandere bo shandaya Ondere bo suro bo shandaya Iba zoko toro bo sere bo shandaya Iba zoro bo soro bo shandaya Iba zoko bo ro bo shindere bo shandaya Iba zoko toro bo shara ba saitaya Ren mazuro bo zime re ba zuta ya I mazeka bo ro bo shanda ya Yes Lord Let your light expose them Abba Father Let your light expose them Let your word expose them Abba Father Mazundo ro bo sheka bo ro bo shanda ya I mazeka bo ro bo shanda ya Re ba zuko bo ro bo shere bo zaka ya I mazeka bo ro bo shanda ya Re mazoro bo zike re bo zoro bo shanda ya Lagra 
in Jesus' mighty name, we pray with Amen. 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 Do you know there was a man called Ahab? He wanted somebody's vineyard, Neboth. And he couldn't get it. Neboth said, How should I sell you my father's inheritance? I wouldn't do it. He goes home, sulking. Jezebel comes. Why are you like this? He said, Nabal said he will not sell me. That Jezebel said, are you not a king? Come on. Took pen and paper. Wrote a letter in Ahab's name. Set Nabal up. Falsely accused him. Stone him to death. Then that thing becomes yours. Mm. And then he becomes yours. But as soon as he went there to possess the land, here comes Elijah. And the first thing Elijah said, so will you kill a man and take his property? And judgment was pronounced. Jesus. And judgment was pronounced. And you know something? When the time came for the judgment to be executed, there was a meeting in heaven. And the Lord said, who will go and entice Ahab to go to war at Ramoth Gilead and fall? Then one spirit said this. One spirit said that. Then one spirit said, I will do it. And the Lord said, how are you going to do it? He said, I'll go and be a lying spirit in the mouth of his prophets. As I speak to you today, there's a lying spirit operating in the mouth of the prophets of President Akufuado. They are speaking lies to him. That is why they are telling you, if you build a cathedral, you will not die. <laughs> That's why they are telling him, if you don't do the new register, you cannot win. They are speaking lies. Lies. And he's bought into those lies. And he's convinced that he must do these things. Lies. But you know the good news? The Bible says, I, the Lord, I do not change. Nehum 1.3 It reads The Lord is slow to anger But great in power The Lord will not leave The guilty unpunished It may take a while But he will definitely deal with you Do you know what happened in 19 uh, In 1944 When the first ritual murder took place After it took place In April It took place in uh, February So in April 44 These uh, people who um, orchestrated the murder They were all from the palace So they were all relatives They went to a fetish priest For the fetish priest to give them something Because the spirit of the dead man Was pursuing them Then immediately they left The fetish priest went to the police And said huh? <laughs> So when the police grabbed him He mentioned the other names And they arrested all of them They were hanged The rest condemned to life imprisonment so at all costs the perpetrators of this murder divine justice will be served if we cannot get natural justice I for God you cannot bribe him all. you cannot manipulate him all. he is not a, 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 a public prosecutor so that he will come and twist the, no 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 he's not a man that lies oh no the judge of the whole earth master he will do what is right amen so it's just a matter of time Amen. So I want the widow And the children of the late J.B. Dankwedu To seek consolation From Nehum 1.3 That indeed the Lord Is slow to anger But great in power Amen. The Lord will not leave The guilty unpunished oh, yes. Let them console themselves with this word But I know one day We shall meet Our brother J.B. Dankwa in heavenly places amen amen, amen. amen. Bonino, the bible say or it, men say it, the evil that men do lives after them 
What is hunting them at the Golden Jubilee House? Something is hunting them. Something is hunting them. If only they will come out and speak the truth, they shall be free. But something is hunting them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Proverbs 16 2 says, All a person's ways seem pure to them, but motives are weighed or examined by the Lord. So, whatever you want to do, it's not what you are doing, it's the motive behind what you're doing. When I came, you gave me water. What is the motive behind? Is it pure motive? Or it's like giving a bribe. What is the purpose of giving me this money? So that tomorrow you come and ask me to do something I shouldn't be doing. So God always looks at the motive. What I want to ask, what is the motive for the new register? The old register brought you to power. What are you afraid of? The old register was used in the recent assembly elections. Why can't we use it now? We don't have money. Why are we going the extra mile to spend so much money? There are so many things that need, are pressing issues that need money. And the new register is not a pressing issue. Today I heard something, I think from your station. Where um, Asepa, Asepa uh, Mensa, yeah. yeah, he was telling us how they have manipulated the Ghana card. So they've gone to Ashanti region, registered their members, gone to Eastern region, registered their members. Greater Accra, no kofio, Volta region, no kofio. So they know that for that register, our members are more. So now we vote to the Ghana card. They should hear the word of God. It will not come on today, it will not come on tomorrow. Hmm? Today, the 18th of April was the date Jimensa set to start the new register. What happened? Don't mess with my God. Don't mess with my God. I said, don't mess with my God. Me, I have nothing you know, but as for my God. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't need anything you know. Take your mansions, take your millions. Leave me and my God. You intended to start the new register today. But what happened? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Against all good counsel, the Electoral Commission set 18th April 2020 for the commencement of the new register. But the Lord has rejected it. Therefore, cursed be any man or woman who will attempt to compile a new register. This is the word of God. Amen. Anybody who tried to compile a new register, you are cursed. Amen. To the first generation, Amen. blindness will never leave your house. Amen. Leprosy will never leave your house. Amen. Barrenness will never leave your house. Amen. Tears will never leave your Amen. house. Because you want to set Ghana on fire. Yes. That is your intention. That is your motive. If you had good motives, we would have accepted it. But the motive is not pure. The motive is not pure. What God has put away, let no man put it back together. Just in the same way what God has put together, no man can put asunder. In the same way what God has put away, let no man try it. Hey, easy boss, Jimensa, if you are listening to me, hear me well. You try it and test and see that my God is a consuming fire. Try it. Try it. I have spoken the word. The word is gone forth from my mouth. Mm. It will never return unto me void. It will accomplish the purpose for which it has been sent. Amen. The word of God is powerful. It is alive. You will not mess with this country. We have had elections after elections after elections. Everything has been peaceful. Why do you want to turn things around suddenly? In favor of who? Let the word of the Lord be done on earth. Amen. As it has been settled in heaven. Amen. If in heaven God has rejected this new register, then here on earth we also reject it. Bible says, if two of us are here on earth and we agree on anything, it shall be done unto us. 
And so we agree with heaven Amen. that there will be no new register. Amen. We will use the old register. Amen. We will use the very same, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, voter's ID card that we used to bring Nanado in. The same voter's ID Amen. card will send him back. Amen. Wherever he came from. There's a reason God allowed him. He said, test me and see, try me. And they have tried him. What is the verdict? Hallelujah. Amen. Let me explain 29th of March 2016 and today 18th of April 2020. I told you that I told His Excellency John Mahama, I wrote a letter to him, pardon me, that if he doesn't change the name to Golden Jubilee House, then obviously what happened to Kwame Nkrumah will happen to him. JB Dankwa must die first. That is a sign. If he dies, then that means you're going to leave the Flagstaff House. Then the next president is going to be Akufuado. Good. So JB Dankwa dies. The Akufuado I spoke about, his birthday is 29th of March. He was born in 1944. Then JB Dankwa dies. Then Charlotte says, sets the by election for 29th of March 2016, when Akufuado turned 72. Can you believe when Anadu went to campaign for uh, Hadia Kande or whoever, that lady? Do you know what he said? He Go and Google it and you'll see it. He said, this is the final, he said, this is the final rehearsal for the December elections. What will happen here is what will happen in December. How did Nanadu know it was a final rehearsal? He's not a prophet. He's not a prophet. Who told him? Who told Nanadu? Because somebody told Adam that he was naked. And the Lord, who told you you are naked? They said, no, I've eaten something. <laughs> if Nanado had not eaten something, he would never have known that that was a final rehearsal. And that what will happen at that by-election, the same thing is going to happen in December. And final rehearsal, Esiye Dunketia said, me, I'm not going. So, automatic disqualification. And that's what happened. So, spiritually, NDC was out. That is why John ended up with 44. Because the loser who was Nanadu should have taken 44. But because technically you are out, they take the three points. And then they leave you with the 44 points. At 44 percent. But, you know the strangest thing? When Emisata died, I told you about the 29 bombs. John Mama is 29th November, Nanado 29th of March, Emisata 29th April. So there are three 29 bonds. Then one dies. So there are two left. Nanado and John Mahama. Then the Lord said, okay, let me show you something. So there are two 29th bonds. Eh? He says, take the common numbers together. So that means two and two. And then nine and nine. You know, in numerology, there's no 29. There's two and then nine. Good. So, he says, add the common numbers together. Then I add the common numbers together. Then I get four and nine. Pardon me. Then I get four and, sorry, four and 18. Because two plus two is four. And then nine plus nine is 18. Then the Lord tells me, that is the running mate of His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. This was the time Osu Mempa had prophesied that John Mahama's running mate would die. And I said, but Lord, why is it that a running mate who has not even been named and they are saying he will die and you are telling me this is the running mate but who is he? But I didn't know him. Then he tells me this running mate is born 10 years after Jerry John Rollins. Ah, Jerry Rollins is born 1947. That means the running mate must be born 1957. So that means 18th April 1957. Then, if you are a, 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 a Bible student, we have something that we call the law of first mention. If you want to understand the mystery of the Johns, you, 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 you have to understand the mystery of John the Baptist and his relationship with the Messiah. You know, John the Baptist and the Messiah, they come from the same uh, region. They are like cousins. So, the Lord was showing me that this running mate, he is Ghana's economic Messiah. Mm -hmm. So, just like the Messiah of biblical times came from the same region 
with the baptizer, John the baptizer. So Jerry John Rollins is the baptizer. He hails from Volta region. So which means this economic Messiah will come from Volta region. Are you understanding me? Yes. John the Baptist and Jesus the Messiah from the same region. Okay. They are born one year apart. All right. You know, in numerology, there's no 10. One. No. So if God says the Messiah is born 10 years, it's just like one. God, there's no. Okay. Zero yeah. Zero doesn't count. But they hail from the same region. So I know Jerry Rollins hails from Volta region. So the Messiah automatically comes from Volta region. Then he tells me. This is the date of birth, 18th April, 1957. Mm. Do you know that before the Messiah was born, Herod wanted to kill him? Yeah. So, thank you. As a result of that, he killed. Thank you. So, is it a wonder that if John Muhammad's running mate is the economic Messiah, before he's even appointed, they say he will die. <laughs> because they too they've seen it. They too they've seen it. When the wise men saw the star of the Messiah and followed it, they came to the palace. Because they think kings are born in the palace. So they thought we'll find the king there. But Herod was there. And Herod said, when you find him, come and tell me. So that me too I go and worship him. But he wanted to kill him. And the Lord said, don't use the same route. Thank you. Thank you. So it is not surprising that we have located the Messiah. And suddenly there's a prophecy that he would die before even the 2020 election. Amazing. But he gives a clutch unless he's prayerful. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But you know what surprised me most? When the Lord gave me this date, then there was this debate on the new register. Ah, then one day I was listening to the, I think Power FM. I was listening to Power FM or Asempa. I think it was Asempa. Then the Electoral Commission said, "I have set the new date for the uh, the date for the new register, 18th April." Then I said, "Ah, is that not the same date the Lord has given me?" Because the Lord says the Messiah is born 18th April. The Electoral Commission. Has also set 18th April for the new register. I, I said, Lord, what is going on? Hang on a minute. Let me let me follow this thing well. Holy Ghost, educate me. So, just as John Mahama chose Charlotte to say, and I prophesied, or the Lord revealed to me that JB Dankwa must die before John can be moved, and JB Dankwa dies, and Charlotte say sets the by election for 29th. Of March, Nanado's birthday, confirming his victory, and he wins. Good. In this case also, Nanado chooses Jimensa. The Lord reveals to me who the economic Messiah is, the running mate of John Mahama. Prophets are prophesying that he, whoever it is, will die. Then Jimensa comes. And doesn't get any other date to do her new register. But the date of the economic Messiah. Hmm. And when that date comes, suddenly something happens. She's unable to do the new register. It should have started today. Corona happened. Now where's the new register? Are we going to write our names or not? It has been aborted. What does it mean? That means NDC officially nominate this running mate and let the plans of the EC work and let us see. <laughs> Whatever they plan to do on the 18th of April. Eh? Whatever they are planning to do against the man born on the 18th of April will not work. Hallelujah. So if by virtue of what took place in 2016, 
the elections were held on the 29th of March, then by virtue of what is taking place, the election of 2020 is being held today. And the winner is the NDC. Amen. Why do I say this? How many books did John write? Five books. Gospel of John. First John. Second John. Third John. Revelation. Five. Five books. Let's look at something. The Gospel of John is about 26 chapters, 25 chapters. It's, it's a long. Mm -hmm. So we dedicate that to Jerry John Rollins, the baptizer. Because that's where John the Baptist emerges. So we give that to him. 19 years. Let's give that to Jerry John Rollins. From there, you come to First John, five chapters. Let's give that to John Kofor, two terms. Good. Then we come to a second John. How many chapters? One chapter. One chapter. We give that to Jonathan Mills. Uncompleted one chapter. One, uncompleted one chapter. <laughs> <laughs> so then we are where? Third John. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. How many chapters? We give it to John Mahama. Mm -hmm. From there, where do we go to? Jude. Jude yeah. Let's give that. To, how many chapters? One. one. So we give that to His Excellency Nanado Danko Akufuado. One term. Then we go to Revelation, written by John. Mm -hmm. And he wrote about the Messiah. It is a revelation about the Messiah. Mm -hmm. And it's like up to 21 chapters. So what it means is this. Jerry Rollins started 19 years. Then John Kufo came. Two terms. Then Atamuz came. One. John Mahama came. One. Nanadu came. One. John is coming back again. And after that, NDC is going to rule for another long stretch. Amen. And people don't understand the mystery. Do you know why it is so? He who started a good thing must bring it to a perfect thank you. God started something with Kwame Nkrumah and the CPP. First, it was a uh, political independence. And then Kwame Nkrumah was working on the economic independence. Then he was overthrown. Since then, the country became unstable. Then, final mother of all kuditas was 31st December. By Jerry John Rollins. During Kumar Centenary, Papa Rollins revealed to us that the reason why the 31st December Revolution came on was to continue the journey started by Kwame Nkrumah. And he was detracted by his, uh, what do you call it, uh, his detractors. Mm -hmm. And they didn't allow him to finish it. So the 31st December had come to complete that journey. Thank you. So, if you will notice, John Rollins built the first Nkrumah statue. Yeah. Atamils also built an Nkrumah statue. He took it to Ethiopia. John Mahama also built an Nkrumah statue. It is confirming that 31st December is to complete the unfinished work of Osajifu Dr. Kwame Nkrumah. But, let me ask you a question. If you gave Dankwa the opportunity to complete Kwame Nkrumah's unfinished works, will he do it? No. 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 So where does Dankwa come in? Dankwa is a distortion. You see, after the death of J.B. Dankwa and Kwame Nkrumah was overthrown, the country became unstable. So if now you have gone all your way to kill another J.B. Dankwa just to make history repeat again, then that means if we are not careful the instability is about to repeat again that means they want to take us back to the 1960s and 1970s when the country was unstable and that is what this new register it is a seed for instability it is a seed for chaos it will set this nation aflame and we, the good citizens, will not sit down for it to happen. Ghana doesn't belong to Akufuado. Ghana doesn't belong to Jimenza. Ghana doesn't belong to Dankwa. Ghana belongs to us. We, the citizens. 
And so we will not let one man's agenda. No way. It will never happen. It will never happen. Let the council of Jehovah stand forever and ever. It will never happen. So it is very necessary as Ghanaians to come back together. So that the mystery of the Jones will be completed. And then the revelation will be written. Exactly 10 years. 2021 to 2031. I said Ghana will have economic independence. Amen. Do you know why? 2031 is the golden jubilee anniversary of the 31st December coup d'etat. Yes. Yes. 2007 was the golden jubilee of Ghana's political independence. Then John Kufour built the golden jubilee house. Thank you. It is for a purpose. That's why the name should not be tampered with. It is for a purpose. If we walk in the wisdom of God within 10 years, just as God used CPP and Kwame Nkrumah to give us political independence, God will use John Dramani Mahama and the economic Messiah to give us economic independence within 10 years. Amen. Ghana will be stable. Amen. Then all these koko kaka 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 will stop. Because you see, many people are in politics because nothing is happening. I know people in Kumasi, they used to have boutiques. You know, uh, selling, you know, things were so bad. The next time I went there, he was an assemblyman. And for the first time in my life, I saw people fighting, using money, campaigning for assembly men. I said, ah, when did assembly man also, you know, because before you have to beg people, yeah. we will see a good teacher who is Christ. Oh, Virginia, why? This time, Charlie, people were throwing cash into the game. I said, wow. Why? Because they think there's money in politics. Who gave them that impression? But assuming the economy was good, robust, you were doing your business. He's doing his business. What to, yeah. You're not a politician. Why would you want to, you know, dabble in politics when your business is... Everybody, yeah. So everybody thinks politics is, you know, where you make it. Which is a wrong motive, wrong attitude. And so we are not setting good examples for the youth. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. So, today... It has been decided. Do you know, like the referendum, there was a debate. NDC says no. MPP says yes. Who won? No. <laughs> Thank you. And now, new register. NDC says no new register. MPP says new register. Who has won? NDC. And I want to assure Ghanaians that today is a final rehearsal for the 2020 election. Amen. As it was in 2016, so shall it be in 2020. Amen. So, Jimensa, by the close of today, if you are not able to compile the new register, you better forget it. John Buedu, I, I met you at Peace FM and Joy FM, and I told you this thing. And you told me that if this thing happens, it will bring shame and disgrace to your party. John Buedu. But you keep quiet. You are sitting there because power has come. Okay. You enjoy the power. So now that the disgrace too is coming, sit there quietly and enjoy it. Ah. You chop the good. You don't go chop the bad. Who go chop them? Now you go chop them. Wedding, Wedding cake. There's icing on the cake. Like I said, Esau lost the election the day he sold his birthright not the day the father decided to you know uh, part away with the blessings amen. amen give me my phone i'll show you something look you see uh no and uh, you see when you think you are too smart god will outsmart you you remember i said that the lord showed me that uh, His Excellency Nanado should not run for the election. 
the 2016 election, but he should hand over to a man born on the 29th of March, like himself. And then he refused. But he came, and then the condition for him to become president was that J.B. Dankwa must die. If he had, at that time, when I heard Dankwa die, I was even afraid that he would die. But, my, but if he dies, who is Akufuado? Who? You know, so I just left it to God. And truly, not knowing that there was a J.B. Dankwa prepared to die. So, God also is using Isaac Osei. Huh? Because if God says Isaac Osei can represent you, then that means God can use Isaac Osei to represent you anytime he wants. Okay. I'll show you a picture and see if you recognize this picture. If you recognize it, then that means... Uh, is he a politician? Yeah, 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 he's a politician. <laughs> Look at the picture. Do you recognize him? Yes. Do you recognize him, man? Eh? Okay. Who is he? <laughs> <laughs> See, my brother, do you recognize this man? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Do you know him? You oh, recognize yes. him? Oh, yes, oh, yes. He is the recent resigned Paul MD. Oh, yes, oh, yes. Okay. I did a story about it. Thank you. Look carefully. You see a flag sitting on his desk. Do you see the flag? Mm -hmm. You see the flag? Yes. Okay. You see the flag? Mm -hmm. There's a flag sitting on his desk. A mm, Ghana flag. There's a flag, yes. Have you seen a flag? Mm -hmm. And it has some pictures. On the flag, on the top, you, you find the written Ghana Beyond Aid. Then at the bottom, you find economic independence now. Then you find pictures of the first president to the fifth president of the fourth republic which is nanado so he starts from kwame nkrumah then you get all the other presidents the last president is uh Akufuado. let me tell you a story wow i this flag is sitting on an, a piece of almond wood why is it sitting on a piece of almond wood god told jeremiah what do you see he said i see a branch of an almond wood mm -hmm. and god said i'm watching to see that my word is fulfilled good i did this flag this flag i did it i did about three four hundred of them almost a thousand pieces do you know a lady called honorable elizabeth saki greater Accra regional good she distributed those flags and from nanado to rebecca to everybody, one flag is sitting on their desk. Everybody has one. They don't know who did it. They don't know who did it. <laughs> but I'm telling you the mystery of this flag today. Wow. The book was launched in 20... Is it 2018? December. With a flag. So all the big guys, everybody, one flag, one book. And the book, the title of the book, I think is... Um, the, you wrote it. I wrote the book. But the book has the last chapter missing. And they don't know. <laughs> you see, when you want to be crafty, God is more craftier than you. They thought they had me. Me, I write a book. My, what you call it, intellectual property. Eh? Mm. Ask them how much they gave me. How I'm, much? Nothing. But do you know how much money they collected? <laughs> and then I told my small boy, carry all the flags, like the Lord said. Go and give it to them. Hurry, hurry up, hurry up. Don't even leave one. So we put them all in a taxi, took it to the regional office. Don't even leave one. Take everything away. Go and give it to them. They didn't understand. You shared it for free. I liked the book at the Pres Osu Presby Hall myself. I'm talking about the the, the flags. It, it comes with a book. One book, okay. one flag. Okay. One book, one flag. So, they want to use it to raise funds for their God knows what. <laughs> so, I told them, look, what you are doing will not help you because it's by, it's by a covenant. And if you break the covenant, God will deal with you. 
They didn't mind me. Hmm? Let me tell you what happened. When did Isaac Osei uh, resign? December. December last year. Hmm? Good. And Isaac Osei is born 29th. March, like Nanado. Good. Then immediately, this new tall guy was replaced. Yes. And mind you, Isaac Osei was forced to resign. He didn't resign reluctant. I mean, like, he was forced to resign. Then another tall MD comes. What has happened? He too forced to resign. Today, a friend told me that the Zongo minister, to uh, the former uh, information minister, yeah, yeah, to who was went forced, to Zongo, yeah, yeah. Same, yeah. The same thing. Anybody who has taken the flag, <laughs> you'll be forced to resign. <laughs> and you, Nanado, and Rebecca, you all have one. Chief of staff, you have one. Ilbesaki, you have one. So, Papa, do, <laughs> did you do anything on it before giving it up? No. It's symbolic. So why are you saying anybody? Because has... God, I told you, is sitting on an almond wood. Wood. Yes. Signifying that God is watching to see that His word spoken okay. concerning you will come to pass. Will come to pass. Mm. Uh -huh. That means God is watching to see that every word I've spoken against the NPP and Anado Dan Kwakufado will come to pass. As as you are saying it, they, 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 they will begin to throw it away. It's too late. Ah, uh, so could he vomit the food back? No. Uh huh. Eaten it. You've eaten it. You've taken it. It is Lesaki has taken the money. Exchange. I They've used on. the money for whatever they want to do with it. A book you did not write. Flax you did not labor for. You thought you had me. But God said, Kwabina, don't say anything. I know what I'm doing. Mm. Somebody sent me the picture after the tall uh, guy resigned. I said, ah, Apostle, is that not one of your flags? Do you know this man? I said, I don't know him. That was a he said, do you know? I said, I don't know him. He said, but is that not one of your flags? I said, yes, but I don't know the man. Then he said, this is the tall MD who has just resigned. Then the Lord said, Kwabina, Ebobaba. Ebobaba. From the head. Ah, who doesn't have one at the uh, Jubilee House? Who? Everybody. Everybody. You see, they don't, and I told Elizabeth Saki, I said, look, you think you can make a cov covenant with God? walk away from the covenant no way you pay for it i kept quiet i kept crying to my god because my god had revealed certain things to me why was it was i not the same person who forced them to change the name from flagstaff house to jubilee house if they had it they didn't see something would they change it they only have mind, minded me so this is where we are today do you know something 2012, the Lord said to me, Kwabina, immediately after the Easter holidays, MPP will rise up against President Mills. So pray, go and pray. So Easter Monday was on the 9th. The next day was the 10th. So we went to the Karma Conference Center. And I gathered my people there. And we prayed. We prayed on the 10th, 11th, and the 12th. Friday was the 13th. Somebody had booked the place, so we couldn't use it. So we stopped that Thursday. 12 o'clock, I was lying there listening to the news. And all I heard was that Kenny Japan had declared war. Mm. I said, huh? As a military commander. What capacity? Mm. They said, I have declared war. If somebody is, you know, if there's an Igbe man near you, take some warmer food and just buy it. I said, hey, minister, nene. And at that time, thank God, I was living around the Kanda. So I saw when his boys, the Nima boys were coming in. I saw it with my own eyes. And you know, the boys came in. 
did the mischief, broke windscreens and stuff. By the time the party boys came, the Nima boys had gone. And I could see them at, behind the GBC sharing money. I said, oh, politicians, you see? You see? Hmm. You're going to take these boys to come and co cause mischief. And how much? They are selling money. 30, 40, 20, 20. But what God said came to pass. But the irony of it is that even though they rose up to attack President Mills, President Mills passed away anyway. But NDC still won. Hmm? Then in 2020, the Lord told me, Kwabna, immediately after the Easter holidays, MPP are planning against the NDC. What are they planning? When did this tall guy uh, resign? Immediately after the Easter holidays. Easter Monday was 13th. By 15th, he had resigned. So you are planning something against the NDC after Easter. But God also was planning something for you. And now, it has started to take shape. Now, the confusion in the MPP has just begun. Do you know 1979 is about to typologically repeat itself again? Why? 72 has repeated in 2012. 66 has repeated in 2016. So what stops 79 from repeating? And you ask me, what happened 79? In 1979, Rollins did his coup d'etat. It started from May 15th, then June 4th. Then there were some executions. There's a man called Efrifa. He was executed on the 26th of June. That 26th of June is President Edward Akufuadu's birthday. Are you following? Good. Three weeks later, that President Akufuadu died. I said 79 is about to typologically repeat itself. So listen to me well and see what happened. So, when Efrifa was shot on 26th of June, which was Edward Akufuado's 73rd birthday, three weeks later, this Edward Akufuado, President Edward Akufuado, died. Then something happened in the UP tradition. It split into two. Uforiata wanted to be president. Victor who wanted to be president. So eventually, they divided the split into two. And guess what? A man from the north came in and won the election. Liman. Do we have a man from the north as a candidate, a presidential candidate in 2020? Yes. Do we? John Draman Imama. He's from the north? Are you sure? So, John Dramani Mahama is going to play the man from the north, Liman. Do we have a President Akufuado? We do. So, President Akufuado is going to play President Akufuado. Do we have a Noforiata? The finance minister. So, William of. Uh, he's, uh, he's William. No. What's, he's what Noforiata? Uh, the finance minister is Ken. So Ken Oforiata will play William Oforiata. But who did the coup d'etat? Jerry John Rollins. Is he still alive? Then Jerry Rollins will play Jerry Rollins. But all the rest are dead. So their relatives. Thank you. So that means. So, if something happened on the birthday of one President Akufu Ado, hmm, and after that he died, the Lord asked me to launch this book on the 29th of March. Can you show it to the camera? 29th of March, when Akufu Ado turned 76. It is called The Untold Story of J.B. Dankwa. You see two J.B. Dankwa is there. Yes. This book will tell you how the conspiracy to kill J.B. Dankwa started in the Ashanti region. How Chairman Wun to me, Boris B., the current uh, mayor, the current Ashanti regional minister, 
and the whole of, about 18 of them went to a shrine to seek help so that President Kufado will win. And as a result of that, J.B. Dankwa died just as the Lord spoke through me. So the Lord said, Kwabana launched this book on his birthday. And on whose birthday? On President Nana Adodanko Akufuado's birthday. <laughs> so we were supposed to do it at the Osu Presby Hall. Then suddenly, lockdown. No, uh, what do you call it? Churches are closed, everything. Then the law said, Kwabana, use technology. So I launched it online. I just did a video, you know, and we just launched it online. So because of the lockdown, uh, the book hasn't gone far, but a few people have ordered their copies. And after the lockdown, you know, uh, the rest of them will come out. But at least a few copies have gone out. So I did it. This is a confirmation that 1979 is about to typologically repeat itself again. And Akufuadu must die. Do you know in 1979... Who knows the name of the sitting president in 1979? He was called Akufu, not Akufuadu. He was Akufu. It, you know, we had a champion. Then, then Akufu overthrew a champion in a palace. So when Rollins did the coup d'état, the sitting president was called Akufu. What is the sitting, the name of the sitting president today? Akufu. <laughs> so. If he misses the first one, after Akufu, Akufu is executed, then President Akufu Adu also dies. Why is it? That means the matter is established. Why did God repeat the dream to Pharaoh twice in two forms? Because the matter is established and it will soon take place. So 1979 is about to typologically repeat itself. And today, the foundation has been laid and set. So, the man from the north with support from Volta have won the elections. Amen. Who handed power to the man from the north? Was it not the man from the Volta? And then, a few years later, the man from the Volta took the power again. Correct? That is why the law says, John must go with the man from the Volta. When John has finished, he will hand over power to the man from the Volta. And he will continue. Because the man from the Volta in 79 handed power to the man from the north. Then he came back later, two and a half years later, and took it back. And then he ruled for a long time. But you see, when we say history is going to repeat typologically, it's minus the guns and the killings and what have you but the result will be the same so now with the help of Volta hmm. the man from the north will take the power do his one term that is left then quietly hand over the power to the man from the Volta and after that NDC will rule for a long time to yeah, complete unfinished the unfinished business of Asajj Vuntot Kwame Nkrumah economic independence now amen It is finished. Jesus said it is finished. You see, if anybody plans to do you anything after the Passover, after Easter holidays, it will never work. Do you know why? What did Herod do? He caught James, killed James. Then the people were happy. So now he caught Peter. Put Peter in prison and say, after the Passover, I'll deal with you. Little did he know that the blood will speak. Little did he know after Easter, you will kill me. You lie bad. After the pouring of the blood, when we celebrate this festivity. And do you know something? In this whole world, this Easter, the way it has been celebrated, it is unique. It is just like it was celebrated in Moses' time. Everybody in their home, with your family, you celebrate Easter. Because the Lord is passing over. The Lord is passing over. After the Lord has passed over, we will see how many houses are crying. 
and we'll see how many houses there's laughter. The Lord made a clear distinction. So me, I foresee MPP crying after this Easter. Amen. But I foresee Amen. them crying. Amen. Amen. And I foresee NDC laughing. You see, in this life, the Bible says, God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, that shall he reap. Look at my brother here. I take my brother's life because I want something. And I live on this earth to enjoy. My brother has a wife and children. What would they eat? I don't care. I've got what I want. This is the politics of today. But today, by the grace of God, I will unmask the MPP. Do you know after John Adekun Kufo, this MPP is a different kind of MPP. This is not the MPP that will sing Eradikasa, Mama Kuma. No, this is not that MPP. This MPP, we don't know. Where they come from. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Today we are going to pray for the MPP. We are going to pray for who? The MPP. Matthew 5 44 says, Jesus said, But I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. That you may be children of your father in heaven. He causes his son to rise on the evil and the good. And he sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. Then it also says in Psalm 23, 5. For he has prepared a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Rollins says something. He said, you can call them opposition if they behave like that but when they behave like they are doing then they are enemies how can president Nana Adodankwa Kufuadu meet former president John Dramani Mahama when you are greeting everybody and laughing with everybody you see John Mahama what does he mean and now you want to invite John Mahama to come and join you and he says he won't come to that one to Wahala Day if I come to your house and you frown, mm -hmm. will I come? You expect me to come again? What kind of nonsense is that? Kwasi Aneshwa, yen tiazu two times, oh. One is enough. If only you are sensitive. After His, his Excellency John Ajeku Kufo's presidency, the MPP is demon infested. They belong to the synagogue of Satan. Let me start with John Adekun Kufo's accident. I'm unveiling the... Eh, me, every witness to our name is alive. Go and meet them. Me, I don't run away. I'll tell you as it is. You've seen a presidential convoy. Look at the amount of cars. Look at the speed. How possible that a car will be coming from the airwork area pass through misses all the other cars doesn't get any other car but the president's car tell me how do you know this prophecy do you know where the prophecy came to Ethiopia uh -huh. in one of these African Union meetings you know they also have a prayer group who prays so his excellency John Ajokun Kufo sent one of the deputy ministers I won't put the name across to go and represent him at that prayer group. There was this Ethiopian praying in Chi. I know Ethiopians, they look like us, some of them. So the guy thought, oh, my share me are Because the guy was praying in Chi. So after prayers, I say, Ojam, not the world vampire power. They're like, huh? I was speaking in tongues. The guy was speaking in tongues. But he was revealing things. The plain president, John Jukum Kufo, sat in. It had crisis. They had to stop at Libya. 
and I think Gaddafi gave them a new plane or they solved the problem out before they came. Do you know that the car that John Adekun Kufo was sitting in was also given to him by Gaddafi? The car, that accident. You know Gaddafi drove all the way when he came to visit Ghana. He didn't take the car. He, he, gave, he gave it as a present to John Adekun. That was the car he was using. And it has cushions. So when the impact came, the cushions just popped up. So as the car was somersaulting, it was like a bouncing castle. <laughs> so he was not hurt. But I believe the impact, that is what might have caused the surgery he's had of late. Hmm? Who was responsible for the accident? Because it was spiritually orchestrated. That is why you couldn't miss it. If John Adekun Kufo had died, who would have inherited him? No. Ali Muhammad. He was responsible for it. Do you know why? Kufo promised him he would help him be present when he's finished. But you know, when he got there, Kufo was doing the late dali. Even he promised Nanado, but perhaps he wanted that I might. So the man too took his own initiatives. So okay, oh mommy, I'm I'm telling you, deep NPP secret today. Aliu Mahama. He didn't only do that to Kufo. There were 17 of them looking for the presidency. Huh? Correct? He took them to either Guinea or Mali. He has a, a Malam or whoever does some. Do you know who his errand boy was? Do you know a man called Adams Mahama? Adams Mahama. Yes. No. They poured acid on him. Yes. He was Aliu Mahama's errand boy. So he would go and do the Chichino Mami. Saneneno Chichino Mami. Yes. Let me tell you something. They also took Nanado there. If I literally 17 in our Chichino Mami. But some way, somehow, Nanado broke through and won the primaries. Now, if I take you to a fetish or a malam, assuming you have a business, and I say, destroy his business for me, then I, I come round again to bring you business. What am I doing? Me duwa ko bebi yo, se malam bi in seo. Mi yue ye so so no, mi ame is had bro business. E din ame ye. So after Aliu Mahama had done all this, he forgot himself. And then 2012, he stood on the same platform to campaign for Nanado. First hit. President Kufo was there. He said, oh, you're not feeling well. Go home. The guy said, no. I'll follow you. I'll campaign with you. Then I think they were in... Um, I forgot. They were, they were somewhere in the brown half. Then they came to Tamale. He followed them. Then there to another one. Bah! So John Mahama at that time had also um, gone to Tamale. So John Mahama put him in the plane and they brought him to Accra, 37 hospital. Then the Muslims were doing their, uh, you know, when they come from Mecca, yeah. they, uh, then the president was speaking at the Independent Square. And then President Mahama said, oh, remember Aliu Mahama in prayers. He's not feeling well. As soon as the man heard it, quickly he took his shoes. Bah, 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 bah. Call the press. Yes, me, yes, me. Who, who told you I'm sick? Oh, I need two weeks. Bah! Back to hospital. Eventually, when they decided they'll fly him out, that is the day he died. Nothing could save him. But the amazing thing is, when he died, there was a debate or an argument as to where he'll be buried. If you remember, some will say they are digging six holes at Flagstaff oh, House. Oh, yes, then some say no. His family say bring him to Yendi. That morning, eh, a sprinter bus had an accident on the Bupe Road, Tamale. No survivor. That day, that morning, he died. So when I listened to the news in the morning, then the Lord said, "Kabna, where was the accident this morning?" I said, Bupi, Tamale, on the, that's where he'll be buried in Tamale. Finally, where was he buried? 
in his home in Tamale. You see, when a man dies, the spirit leaves him. Going back to his hometown, he knocked the car down. Ali Muhammad, nice, fine gentleman, but he had the wrong spirit. Master, Messi today will say it as it is because Ghana must be free. If politicians don't stop doing these things, Ghana can never be free. Then do you know what happened next? After Aliyu Muhammad died, Adams Muhammad, you who were going doing the errands, you two, you go and stand by Nanado. You are campaigning for Nanado. Giddy, 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 giddy. What happened to him? They poured acid on him. Fire him. Dead. Of which he knows, sir, he was part of. Yes. Yes! Adams mm. Muhammad was an NEC man. It was Aliyu Muhammad who brought him to MPP. And you were the errand boy doing all the rounds. Koka na waba koye se koye se. Into obos akodi na 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 duechi panya. Oso koye na oso kodi na duechi. Ena oso panya. So you see spiritual things. That's why when you are going somewhere, for be careful, be careful. Because bonsam nibi biya ni free. You pay. You pay. Good. So we've seen Kufor's accidents. We've seen Aliu Mama. We've seen the acid bath. Let's go to Jake and Baumir's accident. How come the two of them went to Bali to a funeral? The two of them had accident the same day. How come? No, different vehicles. After the 2012 elections, John Mama won. Meanwhile, in 2009, I told John Kufo that God says he should tell Nanado not to bother because he has chosen John for 2012. So, me, all, we all thought Atamil's, you know, because he, he was the John who had won. So. so, when John won, Nanado refused to go to his inauguration. Good. Then there was National Day of Prayer. Then the Lord said, Tell Nanado he must attend the National Day of Prayer. He and all the MPP gurus. Nobody should exempt. Because if you turn your back, if you don't attend the National Day of Prayer, you are turning your back on me, not on man. Fine, you can boycott John Mama's inauguration. But when we say National Day of Prayer, because during Atamos' era, you attended. Good. So I took the letter and I dropped it at the Nima residence. The date for the National Day of Prayer was 17th of March. So I took the letter. So, like I usually do, seventeen of my, I'm watching to see if he will attend the National Day of Prayer. It was within that period that Osu Benpa had prophesied that your mama would die, and there was, you know, chaos here and there. So eventually, the National Day of Prayer didn't come on. But on the seventeenth of that March, I believe the bully chief was doing something, uh, they were scanning, they, they are scanning the chief or something, and so he invited Anadu or something. He didn't go. But ask Jake and Baumia to represent him. <laughs> Isn't it interesting? Is it because I gave him the letter? So he know that day I shouldn't go out. But Jake and Baumia, go and represent me. So after they left, Jake was the first to leave. He had an accident. 30 minutes or 20 minutes that Baumia also left. He too. Accident. So uh, before that, now what's any information to yeah the at, president yeah in february i took the letter said i'm oh, making sure said 17th march he doesn't go anywhere um, 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 yanko, national day of prayer nibi. okay they shouldn't go anywhere apart from the national day of prayer okay but there was some you know uh, so the national day of prayer couldn't come on on that 17th of but it wasn't announced also later i came on the 7th of april or something so if they had indeed obeyed the word of god they would have all stayed home you, you get my point okay so they went now you look at this jake was in his car with his driver there's the two of them mm -hmm. baumia was in the car with his driver his bodyguard and his young boy Kwabna Buedu. Hmm? and this accident happened in march look at the big six look at the certain pattern J.B. Dankwa dies. Kwame Nkrumah, 
No, before JB Dankwa dies, Otanka, uh, which let also died. So, Otanka and then JB died before Kwame Nkrumah was overthrown. Then Akufuado became president. Okay. So, which means history is about to repeat again. Okay. So, from me, from where I stand, Jake died in that accident. 2013. 17th of March. It manifested in 2016. Do you know Jake died in March? 2016. Hmm. After J.B. Danko had been murdered, then March, Otanka also died. Because if you look at the big six, Otanka and J.B. Danko must die before Kwame Nkrumah is overthrown from the Flagstaff House. So now they are about to overthrow John Mama from the Flagstaff House. Then so Otanka and J.B. Danko must die. John Mahama, Nanado is born in March. John Mahama is born in November. How come that Kwabna Buedu died in November? It should have been Baumia. But as they say, Wabing. In Tony Kwabna Buedu, as to what he did when the accident came, whatever should happen to him, happened to Kwabna Buedu. Because we're being who? So, oh, and they'll be who? Danny said, Walker will be So, they left Kabna Buedu there after they had gone to do whatever their last um, uh, campaign or something at North. Then they didn't even the same hotel as we are all sitting here. Then you leave me. Then, before you know, you hear that Charlie, I've been electrocuted. But he died 2013, manifesting 2016. You see, spiritually, we could sacrifice you this year, but it won't manifest immediately. Oh, yeah, there's a time for ma uh, maturity. But when the time comes, so John Boydu died, uh, Kobna Boydu died, and they came and they, they won the elections. This is MPP for you then let's go to the altar at Kintampo have you ever wondered why every year there's a major accident in Kintampo in the month of March <laughs> J.B. Dankwa was murdered on the 9th of February the first Kintampo accident happened in 2016 February 18th, 71 people died. Do you know why? The man who organized the rituals for them, he's a bono man. The guy who gave them direction, this JB Dankwati, he's a bono man. So, the shrine or whatever, the altar they place is at Kintampo. So, you watch something. So, the year J.B. Dankwa died in February, the first was 18th February, 71 people died. Then the following year, 2017, 21st March, 20 school children, the Kintapo Waterfalls. But 23rd March, 2018, 67 dead. Why March? Who is born in March? Nanado is born in March. 22nd March, 2019, 70 dead 9th march 2020 at least 30 people bent to death all because one person wants to be president because This is spiritual. Yeah. Hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So you see, if we don't deal with these things, is there any wonder God is angry with us? Because our leaders, these are the sacrifices they are making. 
just to win power. And it's not helping. It's not helping at all. So, I hear only two words. Change. Restoration. Change. Restoration. Change. Restoration. These are the two words I hear. These are the two words I hear. And so, as we pray, we rise up and pray. Today, we are only laying the foundation of the altar. Come pray for Ghana. That is why I'm taking my time to explain to you. Because the next time, we might not have um, the same opportunity to... So, we're doing it today. Because the next time, it's going to be prayer. Giddy, giddy, giddy. Because once you understand where we are coming from and where we are going, thank you. You also know how to you know support us so i hear two words like i said we are just a decade away 10 years away from our economic independence just 10 years away it's so close if we allow dankwa to win then that means we are reversing everything back because dankwa has never laid any foundation for us then we might as well celebrate power grant And then uh, uh, Mensa Saba. They all did things. Yeah. Why is it only JB Dankwa who did something? They all did great things. But look, we have Isaiah, we have Jeremiah, we have Hosea, but we have Yesu Christ. So we have JB Dankwa, we have Akweje, we have Kominini, but we have Kwame Nkrumah. You came, change everything. Founders Day, you reverse it. Why? What has what has Nkrumah done to you? Why? If 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 people had not you know spoken out, even Legor would be called Dankwa University by now. What kind of nonsense is this? Ghana belongs to you? No. No. We, the citizens of Ghana, we will not sit down for this to happen. So we are going to take the matter up in prayer. Because it's a spiritual thing. I wish I could go to the court with all the evidence I have. But these evidences will not be admitted in court. But before the throne of grace, it will surely be admitted. So we take it there. So we must not sit down and allow ourselves to be sent back to the 1960s and 70s when the country was unstable we can't do anything if that happens we can't do that if anything happens like that why is it that you, do you remember when Moses and Aaron were in charge a few people rose up against them uh, Dayton and you know and they said why well, are you the only ones who are leaders blah 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 and then God said okay everybody bring me your rod and then the next day Aaron's rod had budded almond yeah. so to confirm that they were the chosen leaders okay when Moses died what was the instructions given to Joshua he said make sure that you do everything Moses root so if Kwame Nkrumah was the leader he through him God gave us independence then Kwame Nkrumah has a vision so we must all follow that vision and when Mo Joshua followed what Moses had instructed eventually they went into the promised land if it hadn't been so they would the wonder 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 around again Look, do you know when Buzi and Akufado took over? They neglected the Tama industrial area. And then they came and developed the North Kanishi industrial area. Because Kwame Nkrumah has started something. They didn't want to touch it. You say you are building one district, one factory. Okay, previous administration, sugar factory. Plant sugar cane so that the youth there will get employment. Look at what they are doing. Because they want it to be left like that so that every time they can you see what John Muhammad did. He, isn't it our money? Taxpayers' money? 
Is it John Mahama's pocket money? No. That is why Rollins has warned us that these people, they are the same people. They keep changing their names. They are evil. Evil. Completely evil. Completely evil. Dark Bishop Hayward Mills says, lock up. Don't just lock up the churches. Two no people. Because they want their relatives to come from abroad before they lock up. And here we are. Corona. So Ghana must follow the vision God gave Kwame Nkrumah. And not some ideology from Dankwa or whoever. And this makes the NDC very unique. Because Papa J, the founder, has said that the reason why the first December came about was to continue in Krumer's journey. And out of 31st December came PNDC, came NDC. And all the Johns have built in Krumer's statue to confirm this. So we must unite. NDC, forget your differences. Stop stepping on each other's toes. It's time to forgive. And forget what happened in the past. We are opening a new chapter so that together we can take the power. Amen. We have all learned mistakes from the past. Me, I believe in second chances. And God also believes in second chances. That's why God is giving us a second chance. So forget about this one did this to me. This one, I asked him for money. He didn't help me. I said I wanted employment. Forget about what happened in the past. Yesterday is gone. But today, is here. Tomorrow may never be ours. So so long as it's called today, let's team up. Because we have one common enemy. Dankwa. As in Kroma had. So we'll begin, we'll pray. We're going to pray, first of all, for a change of regime and then the restoration of of the NDC administration because that is what I hear change and then restore Amen. change and then restore Amen. we're going to pray that as it has happened in heaven because as far as heaven is concerned there's a change of administration Amen. so let the will of the father be established here on earth Amen. Jesus said I came to do the will of the, the Father. Father we are here to do the will of the Father Amen. it is the will of the Father that there should be a change of regime Amen. so shall it be Amen. so we're just going to pray Amen. that this change will begin to manifest and that the God who started to do something with Nkrumah and the CPP now CPP is no more he will have mercy upon us Oh, the CPP is not the NDC, whether they like it or not. For me, I wish they would see it and come and, you know, so that Nkrumah will have one, you know, instead of uh, CPP here, PNC here, this year. Why can't we all come together? It's just pride. But if they'll swallow their pride, because CPP is never coming to power. It is never coming to power. It is never, never coming to power. Oh, a name is there is a dead name. But those who have the Nkrumah mantle, it's the NDC. They built three statues. They've honored Nkrumah. What has CPP done for Nkrumah? Nothing. So, it is a reality that, yes. So, we'll pray. We have another hour to go. I hope you are home. You are learning something. And very soon, the book will be out. Huh? The Untold Story of J.B. Dankwa. Oh, people are asking how much is it. <laughs> um, we printed the first... You know, um, we're going to tour the nation with this prayer. Uh, we're going to the Volta region and then we'll climb us in the Greater Accra region on the 29th of November when our flag bearer turns um, 62, John Mahama. So, but we want to start from the Volta region. In fact, today we should have been at the Volta region but because of the lockdown and what have you. Okay. 
so um the first book you know we launched it online okay. so the first book are going out for 100 ghana but the second uh, set will go for 50 and then finally i think 20 so that everybody can you know no but you you this they, no this this is for the big guys not for the small guys so at least from next week maybe um we'll, we'll, we'll make arrangements we'll bring you some and um those who are ready for 50 ghana they can pick uh, one up from you know so w w when we finish we'll, we'll talk and then I'll, I'll, I'll make some available to you but for the big guys they must pay 100 ghana because they can afford it look it, it's not you see if we put everybody helps we are touring all 16 regions it's no joke we're going with organists we're going with prayer warriors we're going to worship team you know okay so okay so you 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 leave your number uh, so that those who are in Accra, yeah, they can contact you, and then uh, we'll, we'll organize and leave some for our brother too, so that um, those who want to pick some from, um, you know, Power FM can also pick their stuff. But this is your complimentary copy anyway. God bless you. <laughs> That's your complimentary copy. Yeah. Um, no, no, you know who starts in vain. <laughs> so, brothers, let's gear up ourselves. Let's enter into prayer one more time. We're going to pray for a change of regime. Because that is what the Lord has said. A change of regime. A change of regime. A change of regime. Amen. There must be a change of regime. Amen. Because this regime is only for one term. Amen. The Johns must come to complete their work. Amen. So that the economic Messiah will take over. Amen. Nanado is not the economic Messiah. Amen. He's a usurper. Amen. A usurper is somebody who pretends he is something that he's not. Okay? He is a usurper. He is not the economic Messiah. So, we want to introduce the economic Messiah. He's a Voltarian. He's born on the 18th of April, 1957. And, thank God, that is the same date Jean Mensa also chose to do her new register which has been aborted in heaven what is aborted in heaven is aborted here on earth so nothing can come out of it so ladies and gentlemen let's begin to pray begin to thank god that there's going to be a new regime there's going to be a regime change there's going to be a regime change let's just begin to pray pray thanking god the father that he is going to supervise this regime change the angels in heaven are already standing by angels with bodies and without bodies are standing by to see that there's a regime change and there will be a regime change Zimarokate Rimando Robo Sharaba Saitaya Je Bazuka Beri Anda Sharaba Saitaya Re Bazuka Bo Re Bazeka Beri Anda Sandaya Ye Bazuro Bozebere Anda Sharaba Sotaya Je Bazuka Be Nianda Bazuro Bo Sandaya Ye bazuka bo robo ze de kaberi anda sandaya Ye bazoro bo ze katere bo soro bo sandaya Ye mando robo ze bere bo soro bo sandaya Ye bazoro bo zi bare kanuro bo sandaya Re bazuka be ndere bo soro bo sandaya Ra baze kaburo bo sendere bo sandaya Ri mazika bo re baze katere bo sandaya Yes, Lord. Restore, restore, restore the NDC administration right now. Let there be a restoration, oh Lord. Let there be a restoration in the name of Jesus. Mazuka Beri and Azoro Boshandaya. Ye Bazuka Ben, Dere Bosoro Boshandaya. Re bazika bo, re bazika be ri anda shandaya. Rando zo kotoro bo shendere bo zandaya. Re bazo ka bendere bo soro bo sandaya. Re bazika bo, robo zembere anda shara basandaya. 
Robo zika beri anda shara bazundo robo shanda ya Ye bakina rabazundo robo shere busanda ya Ye bazika to robo zimbere anda shanda ya Rondo riba zika beri anda shara bazundo Rondo zika beri anda shara bazundo busanda ya Riba zika bo robo zimbere Zima zika bo robo zimbere anda shara basaita ya Riba ko to robo zimbere anda shanda ya Romo zeka do robo zimbere bo solo bo sanda ya Ye bazika bo robo zimbere anda shanda ya Jima zo rabazera mazo koto robo shanda ya Ye bazo robo zimbere kato robo shanda ya Ye bazo robo zimbere bazo koto robo shanda ya Ye bazo bazibare bazo robo shanda ya Re bazo kape ri anda shara basundo Ye bazi Kabo robo zebere anda standa ya Rando zo robo shika beri anda shara basaita ya Rando zo robo shika beri anda shara basaita ya Promotion does not come from the east or the west It is God It is God who sets up one And it is God Oh yes it is God who eliminates the other Makinda raba zo nderebo shoro bo sanda ya Riba zo kabere anda shere bo sondolo Reba zika bo robo shara basanda ya Je bazuko bo robo zebele anda shara basaita ya Rando zo robo sheka beri anda shara basaita ya Rando zo robo zibele bo zo robo shandiri Rando zo robo zibele anda shaka to Shandere bozo riba sika te Rande zebele ando borika be Shara bozo robo sika te rebo sanda ya Ye bazika bo re bazika bo Shandere bozo robo sika be ri anda sanda ya Rondo zoro bo zebele anda shara basaita ya Re bazuko to robo zindere bo zaita ya Re bazika bo robo zika te rebo shanda ya O re mazuro bo zibere bo shara basanda ya Ima kateri anda shara bazunduri Re bazika bo robo shara bazita ya Re bazika bo robo shara basenda ya Re bazika bo re mazeka no robo shanda ya Rande kato robo zimbere anda shara bazaita ya Raba kuto robo shere bo zo robo shanda ya Re bazo robo zimbere anda shara basaita ya Rando zo robo sheke beri anda shara basaita ya Re bazo robo sheke beri anda shara basaita ya In the name of Jesus The Bible says that after the Passover holidays Herod was planning to kill Peter, but the angel of the Lord was sent to rescue Peter. And that Bible says the gates opened on their own accord. The gates just opened on their own accord. We are commanding the gates of the presidency. We are commanding the gates of the Golden Jubilee House to open on its own accord. As John Mahama and his running mate enter, let us pray that the angel of the Lord will lead them into the presidency. Oh yes, Lord. Restore, restore, restore John Dramani Mahama back to the presidency. Even as you have said, even as you have revealed, oh Abba Father, for the good of this nation, for the betterment of this nation, let the angel of God, let the angel of God who escorted Peter to the gate. Escort John Dramani Mahama and his running mate to the Golden Jubilee House. Let the gates open on their own accord. Makano Rimaze Kabiri and the Saitaya. Shando Robo Ziba Raba Setaya. Re Bazuko Bo Robo Sandaya. Iba Zeka Bo Robo Sandaya. Iba Zeka Bo Robo Shadaba Sandaya. Iba Zeka Bo Robo Sandaya. Robo Zibere and the Shadaba Zotaya. Rande Kibande Rebo Sorobo Sandaya. Iba Zoka Bo Robo Sandaya. Ye Bezeka Bo Robo Sitale. Shadaba Bo Riba Zeka Bo Robo Sandaya. Robo Ziba Reba Kuno Robo Sandaya. Rabazika bo robo shara basaita 
Bazoro Bosandaya, Shandere Bozoro Bosandaya, Oh, restore, 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 restore His Excellency John Dramani Mahama and his administration, even as you have said, even as you have spoken, oh Lord, even as you have revealed in the name of Jesus, Mazo Kaberi and Ashara Basaikaya, Ye Bazuka Bo, Robo Sandaya, Ye Bazuka Bo, Robo Zibiri and Ashara Basaita, Ye Bazuka Bo, Robo Zindiri, Shara Bazori and Ashara Basaikaya, Rabazo Kodori and Ashara Basaikaya, Ye Bazoro Boshere Bozandaya, Robo Zibere Bazoro Boshandaya, Re Bazuko To, Robo Shara Basaitaya, Ye Bazoro Bozibere and Ashara Basaita. Ye bazuko toro boshandaya ye bazuro bozika tara bazoro boshandaya ye bazo rima zeka bo robo sandaya ye bazika bo robo soro boshandaya robo zika toro boshandaya ye katuro bozibe ye ya suko toro boshandaya ye bazeka bo robo sandaya ye bazuko bo robo zibe de anashara bazaita Ramazika <laughs> Rabba Zeka Bo Robo Shara Bazaitaya Ye Bazundo Robo Shende Rebo Zaita Oh yes Lord Makato Robo Shara Basanta Oh Yahweh He will make a way God will make a way For us he will make a way. My God will make a way. Oh, he will make a way. He will make a way. Oh, yes, he will make a way. To be a way. Hallelujah! Lord, my my one lady won't me Oh, 
ye be bompa ya ma ye papa John Dramani Mahama onu no odi enim said ye urade ka Moses uno on ka ne ho amen said ye urade ka Joshua uno on ka ne ho said ye be ya odi e be kwako pie bo sha sha sene so e se se urade ka ye ho thank you jesus sing it for me now ah makato raba sanda ya koko wani john dramani mahama koko wani kama so tired am po john dramani mahama kato robo sanda ya hey kando robo sika be john dramani mahama what ya na Nya kukudro, nya kukudro, kambo. En shepo kuma en shenifa. Kuko wenim, kuko wenim, kuko wenim. Oh yes, mempaba, mempaba. Kato re maze, kaburo bosanda. Hey, hey, hey. Kato re mazo, re basanda. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ye 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 katuro bozo robo sanda ah oh mi ana me po awan pa makatoro bozi mere basanda ya shandere bozi kabe zika bo robo zika tere bo sanda ya yes lord hey we left up john dramani mahama before your throne of grace oh give him wisdom give him courage give him strength give him boldness oh makina raba zoro bo sandara iba zeka bo robo sandaya riba zeka bo robo sandara bazeta ya iba zeka bo robo sandaya robo zibere katoro bo sandaya riba zeka bo robo sharaba saita ye bazuko bo robo sandaya ye bazika bo robo sandara Ibaze kabo robo sandaya, ribaze kabo robo shara bazaita ya, imazo koto robo sandaya, rebaze kabo robo zindaya, ibaze kabo robo sandaya, rabazo robo zibere bazandaya, rebazo robo zibere anda shara bazaita, robo zibere anda shara bazuta ya, ibaze kabo robo sandaya. Re bazika bo robo shara basanda ya Re bazika to robo jendere bo sanda ya Yando robo zibere bazika ta ya Raba bo robo zibere anda shara bazaita ya Yemando robo zeka tere bo sondo yo Ando zo robo jendere bo zo robo sanda ya Yando re bazika bo robo shanda ya bazika ta ya Raba zo re bo zo robo shindere bo sanda ya E basuro bo siketere bo sanda ya Rando zoro bo shendere bo zoro bo sanda ya Re basuko toro bo shendere bo zoro bo sanda ya Re basika bo robo shara ba saita ya Re basundo robo shere bo saita ya Imandere bo zoro bo siketere bo sanda ya Raba zeka bo robo shara ba saita ya Raba zeka bo robo shara ba saita ya Ima zoka bere anda shara ba saita ya Reba zuko tolo bo shendere bo zanda ya Reba zuko tole bo zanda ya bo zori anda shanda ya Ima zema robo soro bo shanda ya Reba zoro bo shikatara ba zota ya Ima zoro bo shanda ya Robo zibere bo zoro bo shanda ya Oh thank you Lord, thank you Lord And to that promise man Hey John Una uwa to me Hey In the name of our Lord Hey John Una uwa to me Apara Hey John Una uwa
Ramani Mahama, let us remember that he's not running the race alone. He's going with his running mate, the man born on the 18th of April 1957. None other but Mr. Leslie Mensa Tamaklu. We want to lift him up before the throne of grace. That whatever negative word has been spoken against him shall never manifest as long as the law sits on the throne that together that together that together victory is assured because the lord has a purpose for them he says give me a man give me a man to stand in the gap he mentioned the name of the man he mentioned his birthday NDC, let's give him this man and let us see what God will do for us through this man. Many will say, but who is Mensa Leslie Tamaklu? Who was David? Look, a time came in the life of Israel. God was not pleased with a certain king. His name was Saul. So he called his prophet out and said, go to the house of Jesse. And anoint me one of his sons to be the next king when Samuel got there Jesse called all his sons minus one the eldest Power as soon as the prophet saw him he thought ah this must be the Lord's anointed and God said no I have not chosen this one the second came the third came the fourth came to the seventh God said, I haven't chosen any of them. So the prophet asked Jesse, are these all your children? 
He says, no. There's one more. He's in the wilderness with the sheep. The prophet said, get him. We will not sit down until he comes. He was the one who was going to bring down Goliath. He was the chosen one. With one stone, he brought Goliath down. But until then, who knew David? Nobody. Who knows Leslie Mensah Tamaklu? But you wait and see what God is about to do through him. There's a great man who said, The world has yet to see what God can do through one man who is totally committed to him. And then he said, I am willing to be that man. The world has yet to see a running mate who is totally committed to the things of God who is totally committed who has ears to hear what the spirit of the Lord is saying let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen a man stood up one day and he said to me apostle as soon as the first coronavirus is reported in Ghana the new register will not come on. It was a prophecy. It was a spoken word. Do you know who this man was? Or who this man is? This is Mr. Leslie Mensah Tamaklu. He said, Apostle, as soon as the first coronavirus is reported in Ghana, the new register will not come on. This man is born on the 18th of April. The very date they said they are going to do a new register. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning, folks. This is just the beginning. We want men who are spirit-filled. We want men who are sensitive to the Holy Spirit. We want men who are committed to the things of God. This is the man, Mensley, Leslie Mensah Tamaklu. We want to lift him up in prayer. We want to say, Lord, pour your oil upon him. We want to say, Lord, use him for your glory. We want to say, Lord, protect him by your blood. We want to say, Lord, do through him what you've done through no other. Do through him, oh Lord what you've done through no other let the world know that you have appointed him that you have chosen him that even before he was a blood clot in the mother's womb you knew him and you had ordained that he should be the running mate of his excellency john dramani mahama at this crucial election oh yes lord do what no man can do papa and take the glory do what no man can do, oh Lord, and take the glory. Oyo nyamia on Sahara. Hey, Osiday, Osiday, Osiday. Hey, Oyami Oyo nyamia on Sahara. I'm changeable God. Oyo nyamio, Oyo nyamio, Oyo nyamia, on sacrada. Oh, unanti na se ni mo, hey, na sobra ni mo ye te, na we ni da swasa, hey, be ye ayayayaya, unanti na se wo. Oya <laughs> Sa 
Ante Nasa Nibwa Nasa Obra Nimu Ye De Na Wendi Daswa Sa Mese Obeshe O Akata Manso Eradi Beshe Mo Eradi Beshe O Amanesi O Ye Obeshe O Eradi Beshe O Eradi Beshe O Amanesi O Ye Obeshe O A Eradi Beshe O Ye 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 Eradi Beshe Amanesi Father, we lift up Leslie Mensa Tamaklo before your throne of grace. Your appointed running mate for His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. Abba Father, even as he partners with John Dramani Mahama, use them to do exploits. Use them to do what no man has done and take your glory, Abba Father. Do what no man can do and has ever done. That is what makes you God. That is what sets you apart. Oh Lord, you have spoken it with your word. You have spoken it. Now let there be a performance. Let there be a performance of what you have said. Amen. Let victory come through these two gentlemen. Amen. John Dramani Mahama and Leslie Mensa Tamaklu. This is the ticket you showed me. This is the 2020 victory ticket. Lord, use them for your glory. Amen. This we ask in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. 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 We also want to remember our founder, Jerry John Rollins, before the throne of grace. We all know that these people are mischievous. They are trying to, you know, take him away from us. But it is impossible. How can you take our daddy from us? How can you take our father from us? Something happened. Something went wrong. But I see God repairing everything. I see our papa coming back. In fact, I see our founder leading this campaign. I see our founder visiting the regions and telling them, vote for John Mahama and vote for Leslie Tamaglu. I see the founder leading this campaign. Let us remember him, that God will give him strength. I remember in 79, I was a young boy and people were screaming and shouting, JJ, do something before you die. I believe this is the time this is the time this is the hour for JJ to do something before he dies because he's past 70 and we all know that it is appointed unto man once to die after that the judgment nobody's going to live forever he's aging and perhaps this might be his crucial election this is his final election and we must honor him so that while he's alive he will see that his labor has not been in vain oh lord we lift up papa j before your throne of grace lord we lift him up before your throne of grace strengthen this man strengthen this man strengthen this man grant him wisdom grant him wisdom elohim let your hand be strong upon him oh abba father let's also pray for the unity of the ndc because in this endeavor unity is important anybody who will bring this unity let them be plucked out in jesus name anybody who will bring this unity let them be plucked out in jesus name Make a bow, Robo Zika Bay. Je Bazu Robo Zika Bay, Ri and the Shandaya. Robo Zika Day, Ri and the Shara Bazotaya. Robo Ziba Day, Bazu Robo Shandaya. Re Bazika Bow, Robo Shara Bazandaya. Re Bazuko Bow, Robo Shandaya. Re Bazika Bow, Robo Ri and the Shara Basaitaya. Re Bazika Bow, Robo Shara Basaitaya. Rande Kinara Mazuro Boshini Busandaya. Oh, yes, Lord. Thank you, Abba Father. 
Thank you, mighty Jehovah. Mazuru kaberi anda shara bazuru busanda. I maze kaburu bushara basaita. Oh yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. There are two very important gentlemen we also want to lift up before the throne of grace. They are Honorable Elvis Efria Ankara and Honorable Julius Deborah. The Lord has shown me that they have very, uh, what should I say, strategic roles to play for this victory. Let's pray that God will grant them wisdom, knowledge, that the Spirit of the Lord will be with them so that whatever they need to do, they will do it with the wisdom of God, with the power of the resurrection. Oh, yes, Lord, let's pray for these two gentlemen. Thank you, Lord. Makato Robo Sandaya. Ibaze Kabo Robo Shandaya. We lift up Honorable Julius Debra, Honorable Elvis Efria Ankara before your throne of grace. Mazo Kaberi and Ashara Bazaita. Lord, grant them strength. Grant them strength. Grant them strength. Grant them strength in the name of Jesus. Mazo Kaberi and Ashara Bazaita. Robo Zika Bo Robo Shara Bazaita. I Maze Kabo Robo Shandaya. Re Bazika Bo Robo Shara Bazaita. Re Bazika Bo Robo Shara Bazaita. I Mazo Mareka Bo. Jendere Bozu Robo Shandana Bazeka Toy. Father, we thank you. We give you praise in Jesus' name. Let us also remember the chairman of the party. Um, what's his name? Uh, Ofoswan Pofo. The Honorable Ofoswan Pofo. Let's also bring him before the throne of grace. And not forgetting the General Secretary, Siedun Ketia, and all the other party executives. Let's pray that God will grant them wisdom to be able to do what they need to do. May God give them the boldness to speak as they ought to speak. Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We lift up the executives of the NDC before your throne of grace. We lift the chairman before your throne of grace. We lift the general secretary before your throne of grace. Oh, we lift the national organizer before your throne of grace. The women's organizer, the communication director. Oh, Mazika Bo Robo Shara Basaita. The youth organizer. Oh, we lift them all up before your throne of grace. We pray, oh Abba Father, grant them wisdom, grant them wisdom, grant them wisdom, grant them wisdom. Mazo Marika Tere Busandaya. Reba Zuko Bo Rima Sandaya. Give them the boldness to speak your word. Mazeka Bo Robo Shara Bazaita. Ye Bazika Bo Robo Sandaya. Reba Zeka Bo Robo Sandaya. Reba Zeka Bo Robo Shara Bazaita. Ima Zoko Toro Bo Sandaya. Reba Zoka Beri and Ashara Bazaita. Horeba Robo Sandaya. Ribando Robo Sikatala Bazaita. Oh, protect them, Abba Father, as they go to and fro. Protect them, protect them, protect them. Protect them, oh Lord. Protect them from the evil one. Protect them from every evil imagination. Protect them, Abba Father. Let the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth be their protection. In the name of Jesus, let the Spirit of the Lord rest upon them. Let the angels of God with bodies and without bodies accompany them with us wherever they go. Mazo mere katoro bushara bazaita. Re bazuko toro bushanda. Re bazika bo robo shara bazaita. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Mazo kaberi anda shara bazaita. In Jesus' name. The Bible says that the Holy Spirit came to rest upon Peter and the apostles and when they rose up to speak in one day 3,000 was added mm -hmm. to the number there were only 120 then every day more numbers kept being added we want to pray that as our executives go out and they rise up to speak on 
various platforms let their words attract new members let their words attract new members into the NDC, the name of our Lord so that the Lord NDC will increase by the day. The let the NDC increase by the day. Let thousands Present upon thousands upon thousands, thousands upon thousands be added to the Receive NDC the with each and every day that passes. Let, let us pray. Thank you, Abba Father. God, do Robo Shandai. Rando Zo Riba Zeka Bol Shandere Bozo Robo Shandaya Riba Zeka Bol Robo Shara Basaita Ye Bazo Koto Robo Shandaya Re Bazo Robo Shara Basaita Ye Bazo Robo Shande Ye Bazuka Beri and the Shara Basaita Re Bazuka Beri and the Shara Basaita Robo Zika Beri and the Shara Bazoto Re Bazika Bol Robo Shara Basaita Riba Zeka Buro Boshanda Bazeta Robo Zika Beri and the Shara Bazaita Ye Bazuko Toro Boshara Bazaita Robo Zimere Bazandaya Rabazuko Toro Boshara Bazaita Let their messages be received with love Let their messages be received in Jesus name Mazoko Boro Boshandaya Grant them utterance Grant them utterance Grant them utterance in the name of Jesus Mazoka Beri and Ashara Bazota Re Bazuko Bo Robo Shara Bazaita Re Bazoko Bo Reba Shara Bazeta Ye Bazondo Robo Shire Bozaita Re Bazika Bo Robo Shandaya Rando Zika Beri and Ashara Bazaita Re Bazuko Toro Boshende Bozaita Robo Zika Tere Bashodo Bosandaya Robo Zibale Bazundo Robo Shandaya Re Bazika Bo Robo Shara Bazaita Robo Zebere and Ashara Bazaita Ribaze Kaburo Boshandaya Rando Ribaze Kaburo Boshara Bazaita Re Bazika Bo Robo Shandaya Rima Zeka Bo Robo Shara Basaita in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that God is a giver. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Bible says any good and perfect gift comes from the Father of Light. Want to pray that the NDC will be a giver of good education policies, a giver of good economic policies, a giver of good industrial policies. A giver of good policies so that the people of Ghana's situations will be transformed within this decade as God has stipulated. Let us pray. Father, we continue to pray that the NDC will be a giver of good policies, good education policies, good economic policies, good industrial policies good housing policies oh abba father let the ndc be a giver of good policies good realistic policies policies that will turn the fortunes of the people around fortunes policies oh lord that will turn the fortunes of the people around For policies oh abba father that will transform this nation within a decade mazon de re bazika bo shara bazika beri and ashandaya robo zika beri and ashandada the kind of policies abba father that will cause us to receive our economic independence within a decade even as you have revealed to your servant mazon de re and ashara bazika Oh, thank you, Jesus. In the name of our Lord. Oh, may this nation never be the same again. May this country never be the same again. Mazo barika toro boshandaya. Reka no robo jimere and asende rebosanda. Oh, mazika bo robo shara bazaita. Rima zo kobonde rebo shara bazaita. Riba zeka bo robo shara bazaita. In the name of Jesus. Kando robo shere muzo boshandaya. We want to pray to silence the voice of the accuser why must we silence the voice of the accuser 
you wake up this morning they say john mahama is corrupt john mahama has taken bribe john meanwhile the courthouses are there you haven't taken the man to court you are just making noise in our ears if john mahama has stolen anything take him to court from today by the blood of the lamp we silence the voice of the accuser in jesus name we silence the voice of the accusers in Jesus' name. We silence the voice of the accusers in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In the name of our Lord Jesus The very same pit that they have dug for His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. May they fall inside that pit. 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 That net, that trap that they have set for His Excellency John Dramani Mahama. May they fall inside themselves. May they fall inside themselves. May they fall inside. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. May the Lord vindicate John Dramani Mahama. May John Dramani Mahama's vindication come from the Lord. Masundo Robo Zikate. Sha Bazudo Bo Zikataya. Yimazo Marika Toro Bushandaya Rimaze Kaburo Bushara Bazanda Yimazo Bazika Bo Sindere Bushara Bazaita Robo Zika Be Shandore Bazika Bo Robusanda Oh yes Lord Kate Limazo Simare Kabo Robo Shara Bazaita Re Bazuno Robo Shandala Ye Bazuko Bo Robo Shara Bazaita Hey, Kanuro bo sindere bo shara bazaita. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Makato robo sindere. Shando re bazika bo. Zimaze, zimazo kabo. Ye bandere bo zoro bo shara bazaita. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. Oh, we bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. Ah, the Lord is good. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. David said, I was glad when they said unto me, Let us go into the house of the Lord. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of the Lord than enjoy the booty of wicked men. Oh, yes, the Lord is good. And we are going to taste in Ghana this year that indeed the Lord is good. The Bible says, Taste and see that the Lord is good. Ghanaians are going to taste. And they are going to see that the Lord has been good to them. Oh yes, God is turning the hearts of Ghanaians around. I'm telling you, through these two gentlemen, wow, the through the, restor the restoration of the NDC, people are going to fear God. People are going to worship God. People are going to believe that crime doesn't pay. Amen. Wickedness doesn't pay. Amen. But indeed, loyalty, faithfulness, Amen. patience Amen. pays. Amen. And I'm describing John Dramani Mahama. He has good intentions for this country. He was he means well for this country. Look, he's a former president. He could have gone and enjoyed all his booty. He could have he will enjoy the, the privileges of a president till he dies. But he chooses to still come and serve. Because he believes there's an unfinished agenda. Why? Because he was cut off. But by the grace of God. God is going to restore him back to the presidency and within this four years people are going to see I mean to be like like I don't know how to describe it and people are going to say you remember when Jesus kept the best wine for the last then people say ah John Dramani Mahama it is for an appointed time if it had not happened this way maybe people would not have appreciated him more but when he comes this time oh yes he makes all things beautiful all things beautiful so ghana let us rejoice this rejoicing is not for ndcu it is for ghana power it is for ghana john dramani mama is not coming for ndc he's coming for ghana he's coming for ghana he's coming because of us Ghanaians every tom dick and harry will not be left we are all part of this 
so let us all unite behind this great man let us not behave like we did to Kwame Nkrumah and after he was dead and gone and every day we say oh if Nkrumah was here if Nkrumah had been here no the man is alive today let us give him the opportunity do you know that in the grave there are a lot of unfulfilled visions there oh yes even Kwame Nkrumah's oh my goodness go to Osu Cemetery go to Awudome unfulfilled dreams unfulfilled visions the man is alive are we going to wait so that when he's dead they will say oh if we had known had we known no 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 power no now is the time now is the time let us as Ghanaians arise as one man why is it that Nana Adodanko Akufuado and Baumia promised that it is a lazy administration that goes around borrowing and today they have borrowed more than one can imagine and yet they have nothing to show for today the hospitals that John Dramani Mahama built when the crisis came Power you see a man of fair. vision you see a man of foresight who built motorway Kwame Nkrumah foresight you see the silos in Tema Kwame Nkrumah it was to store cocoa do you know that because of coronavirus we can't sell cocoa and the cocos are left at the warehouses is it not time for us to have stored our cocoa in the silos so that at the opportune time we'll bring it out and sell wisdom wisdom is the principal power thing. the fair seek it first wisdom okay seek it first wisdom so people of ghana this is what the lord is saying in 2020 there's going to be a change of regime and then there's going to be a restoration of another regime okay god has already crossed his hands it is a done deal i want to serve notice to those who have an agenda that at all costs they will prepare a new register Power the fair. i want to tell them they do it at their own risk if anybody tries it and they die don't say i kwabneje i pronounce their death if anybody tries to bring a new register to cause mayhem in this country let their life be taken away from them Amen. in jesus name Amen. let their life be taken away because they don't deserve to rest in this country they don't deserve to be a part of us because they want to bring chaos why is it that the same register that brought you to power the fair now you don't trust that register what has gone wrong we use this register to elect the assemblymen what went wrong why is it that you are insisting that we use Ghana card when we use this same, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, voter's ID card to bring you to power? What has gone wrong? Nothing has gone wrong. But you have a misplaced agenda. You have a misplaced agenda. You have evil intention. And God has judged your motive. That is why the voter's register could not come on. Power if indeed it was for a good intention, God would have allowed it but it is for an evil intent and so elohim says it will never happen and as i stand here as a servant of the most high god i de i denounce that that new register i trample upon it and upon anyone who dare arise and say they're going to build a new register if joshua brought down the walls of jericho and said anyone who builds it it will cost you your firstborn it will cost you your lastborn and that is Power what happened the then as a servant of god i declare this day that anybody who rise up to build any new register let their family perish even to the fourth generation no mercy shall be shown them in jesus mighty victorious name Amen. let's give thanks to god just give thanks just give thanks to god just give thanks to god he's a prayer here power the fair and form one big force around this vision let's pray that the whole country the whole nation will be united around the vision of john dramani mahama let's just pray let's give thanks to him 
Keta rama zondu rubu shara bazaita ya. Ye bazuko boru bushanda ya. Power the fair. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we just want to say thank you. You are Alpha. You are Omega. You are the beginning and you are the end. What you have started, you will bring to a perfect end. We just thank you for this opportunity to be able to spend time with you on behalf of this nation. We know that our prayers have not been in vain. For you have assured us that you are a prayer hearing God and a prayer answering God. We thank you. We commit our listeners into your mighty hands. Power Abba fair. Father, wherever they are, we pray in the name of Jesus that you will meet them at the point of their need. Those who need food, Abba Father, reach them. Those who need money, Abba Father, miraculously reach them. Satisfy each and every single one so that when this crisis is over, we will come together and say, Thank you, Lord. You have done it one more time. Glory be to the name of the Lord, both now, forever, and ever. Amen. Amen. God bless you. God Papa, bless you. Oh, oh, bless you. Power number the to Ghana. Yes, no problem. Mm, so, um, people, my those, number. Those are Omobisa, uh, for the books, you know. For the, those uh, who want the books, what yes, I'm going to do is. Uh, there are so many people. There are so many people. Yes, eh? Okay, what I'm going to do is uh, tomorrow. Um, yeah, but can you can you handle all? You can't handle all. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so mm -hmm. you hand. Uh, then let me come and drop some. Okay, at the office. Yeah. Yeah, I can give you a hundred copies okay. tomorrow. Okay. So that yeah. Okay. Uh, then, so whoever in this whoever needs okay. it, they just uh, okay. if they call you, all right. just direct them. Power the okay. So tomorrow we'll, we'll, we'll connect, all and right. then I'll know what time you're. And then right. tomorrow I'll drop uh, right. hundred copies for you. All right. All right. And if anybody needs a copy, let them pick one up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, Fifty Ghana. Fifty okay. Ghana. Fifty Ghana. Alright. Nine one three two one three two. 132 papa bobby 026 026 555 555 nine nine one three two one three two. 132 say say my phone is a movie i'm free papa mbacho uh ubibi bisasa wa sorry no um okay prayer ministry is a apostolic prayer ministry okay but uh may associate pastor uh, or uh, house of glory ministries i was spintex basket okay. road power okay. the yeah. fair that's why i worship okay uh -huh. but i have my own prayer ministry called the hezekiah apostolic prayer ministry okay and we are here in the name of the hezekiah apostolic prayer ministry okay. but i'm also a, um an associate pastor, pastor at the house of glory mm -hmm. ministries at that the, means the road. yeah god bless you i'm pleased this is my first time uh, of coming of coming you. here okay and i'm very happy God bless you. And you have a guy called uh, Mugabe. Eh? Yes. Do you know Mugabe interviewed me in 2012? Power the fair. Really? Yes. When he was at, uh, at the other uh, station. Yeah. Is it Munti already goes? Yeah, yeah, Munti. And at that time, the Lord had revealed to me that to confirm that your mama will win the election, the weather will be just like how Professor Mills, when he died, okay. you know the weather. And yeah, I told Mugabe, this is how it's going to be, just to confirm it. God bless you, Papa. And you know, God bless you. Uh, when, when you see him, say hello to him. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, I haven't seen right. him since then. Anyway, all right. I hear him, but I haven't seen him. God bless you. God bless God all bless the you. listeners. Hope to come your way. God bless, you, sir. God, God bless you, God bless you. Power the fair. My brother, I'm Eddie Godfrey Dakwa Jr. I'm an apostle. I'm a Jay. I'm a Layati abako sema ngana mimi sisi sini na abako sema bompa yenzo inti misra wa abra me sorry mti ya from ni edin komo zero five five seven zero mimi sume number nedu zero five five seven zero nine two nine zero five mimi sorry so na mdi ama me papa me head pastor our international rest house assembly Dr. Joshua Fori. I'm sorry, I said yes, Monday and Sunday. I'm going to get to Accra. Papa, I'm going to get to So, maybe you're time, Kakra.
Wait, I'm here, what's your secret? I'm here, I'm here, what's up?